this is the best open source large language model that I've seen so far. It's a new month, that means there's a new large language model. Introducing Quen 2. This is a new advanced evolution from the Quen 1.5 model to this new Quen 2.0 model. But this time around, there's a pre-trained and instruction tuned model of 5 sizes, including a 0 0.5, 1.5, a 7 billion parameter model, a 57 billion parameter model, and lastly a 72 billion parameter model. So you can see that it hits the board in various sizes. It has been trained on 27 additional languages beside English and Chinese, and it has 128k context length, which is outstanding for code generation and for larger basic context generation. Now on the open large language model leaderboard, it is currently ranking as number one, which is absolutely amazing. And it has impressive performance across the board, where there is a significant improvement from the previous model version, obviously. But it matches GPT-4 in overall performance in another earlier model. Now, it is also nearly catching up to the best open source model in hard prompts, which is Llama 3 70 billion parameter. So you can see that this model has a lot to show. And this is something that we're going to be uncovering throughout today's video as we test it out. So... With that thought guys stay tuned and let's get straight into the video as i showcase alibaba's new large language model if you're interested in world of ai solutions where i'm going to be providing you consulting as well as implementation of ai definitely take a look at the typeform link in the description below hey what is up guys welcome back to another youtube video at the world of ai in today's video we're going to be taking a look at quen 2 now, this is featuring a new pre-train and instruction tuned model in five sizes, as I mentioned before. But the great thing about this model is its performance in various categories, and that it ranks as the number one open source model on Open Large Language Model Leaderboard. Now, all the models that have been introduced incorporate a group query, and this is for attention that will speed up and reduce memory a little bit better. And they have also open sourced these models on Hugging Face as well as Model Scope. So you can get started with it right now. Say if you're interested in utilizing the new Quen model, you can actually do so by installing it locally or you can try it out by taking a look at the Hugging Face demo. Now, I'll leave a link to this demo for the Quen 272 Instruct Chat model. So we're going to be actually utilizing this for tests later on in the video. But if you're interested in trying this model out, you can do so on Hugging Face. But say if you want to install this locally, you'll need to have LM Studio installed. This is the easiest way for you to run any open source large language model locally. So watch this demo video, which will help you install it. And once you have LM Studio installed, you can then simply just open it up. Once you have LM Studio opened up, you can then search for the model that you want to install. Now, as I mentioned before, there's five different variants. You have different sizes for these models. You have the 0 0.5, 1.5, for example, and you have all these different five sizes. And as I mentioned, there's a pre-train and instruction to a model. So you can install the one that you want to work with. So I'm just going to randomly pick out a random model. So I'll search up when two and then paste it in. And you can see that there's various GGUF versions. You can install the different quant model or the size you want. And then once you pick the one that you want, you can then simply just click on the download button, go over to the chat tab, and then select the model that you want to play with. And this way you can get started with the new Quento model right away. Now let's take a look at some performance metrics for these different models. Now starting off with the comparative assessments, it is showcasing that the Quen 2 72 billion parameter model, which is the largest model, it is out significantly improving these other models such as Llama 3 70 billion parameter model. This is the most latest Llama 3 model and you can see that this new Quen model is outperforming on various benchmarks which is just great to see. The Mixtral 8x 22 billion parameter model is obviously being outperformed. The Quen 1.5 model as well. And you can see that it excels in different areas like natural language understanding. You have nat knowledge, acquisition, coding, math, multilingual abilities, and so much more. Now, you can see that there's, they've selected different sorts of data sets and optimized it for training. So each model performs quite well and they're even able to surpass various sorts of other models that we saw in the open large language model leaderboard they also did the same test for the instruct model and you can see that it's also outperforming llama 3 as well as quen 1.5 but if you scroll down a little bit you can see the performance of the quen 2 7 billion parameter model and they evaluated it on the 16 benchmarks across various domains and it is balanced better in terms of capabilities and alignment with human values and it's significantly outperforming quen 1.5 which was their 
previous model and is quite well competing against Llama 3's 70 billion parameter model, which is amazing to see. Now, so the smaller Quen 2 model, on the other hand, is outshining even larger models of its size and it's able to do quite well in coding and Chinese related metrics. It's actually the best Chinese open source model that's out there. And obviously, for the people on the Western Hemisphere, are not going to be like utilizing a model like that for Chinese, obviously. But we can see that in terms of English, it does quite well. And it's an open source model with strong performances across various benchmarks. Now, in terms of coding and mathematics, it's surprisingly quite well in generation for code as well as math in relation to Llama 3's 70 billion parameter model. And this is the instruct model. It also has a great long context understanding. And I definitely recommend that you read through their blog post because it goes over each aspect. Now, I want to refer to the licensing. All of these models over here, the 0 0.5, 1.5, 7 billion, as well as the 57 billion, 70 or 57 billion parameter model adopted the Apache 2.0 license, whereas the 72 billion parameter model is focusing on the original Quen license. And this is something that I wanted to emphasize because the Apache 2.0 license will allow you to accelerate applications and commercial usage of Quen 2. So this is something that it has been released by the Alibaba team. And I definitely give huge props to them for allowing them or for allowing us to access this model for different use cases. Now, before we get started, I definitely recommend that you take a look at the Patreon page so that you can access the new subscriptions that will be releasing this week. If you would like to book a consulting call with me, you can do so with the link in the description below. So now let's actually start testing out this model. Now, one prompt I really love doing to test out how good the code generation is, is by asking it to generate a snake game or the game of life. So in this case, I'm going to actually ask it to create a snake game and let's see if it's actually able to do so. Now, the reason why I do this is because I want to see how well it is able to perform in Python code, obviously, but it, I'm, I'm trying to see how it's going to be able to generate longer context and how it's able to have that understanding that they promised. So what I'm going to do is have it generate it and I'll be right back. So to save some time, I basically had it generate the snake game and I then copy that code, paste it into VS code and I saved it to my desktop. And now I'm going to click play to see if it's functional. In a couple of seconds, we should see if it works. And there we go. We have it working. And if I go outdoor or outside of the border, you can see that it says uh, game is over. Press C or play again or press Q to cancel. And there we go. We have our first test completed in terms of generating a pie game or a snake game. Now, this next test is going to focus on mathematics. And this is where I'm asking the Quen2 model to solve the following uh, linear equation. Now, there's three equations and we're providing the values for x, y, and z. Now, the explanation of this prompt is where uh, it's going to test the large language model's ability to solve a system of linear equations. It's something that I try to do with other models so that we get a better idea as to their understanding in mathematical notation, as well as how they're able to perform with algebraic uh, manipulations, as well as providing accurate numerical results. So by solving this, we should see how well it's able to do. And within a couple seconds, we should get a response. And there we go. It did a great job in explaining the answer. And it focused on different steps where it focused on finding Y, X, as well as Z. And we can see that X is a uh, positive one, Y is negative two, and Z is negative two. And we can see that satisfi satisfies the right answer. And this is actually the correct answer for that equation. This next prompt is going to focus on logic and reasoning. The prompt is a farmer has 10 cows and 20 chickens. One day, he notices that the number of legs in his barn does not match the expected count. If cows have four legs and chickens have two legs, calculate the number of legs he should expect. Then, if he actually counts 68 legs, determine how many cows and chickens are in the barn and provide a detailed explanation for your reasoning. We're going to send this in, but what this basically means is that this prompt is going to test the logical reasoning and problem-solving capabilities of the Quintil model. It is going to require the model to calculate the expected value, identify any sort of discrepancies. It's going to be able to formulate equations, solve for variables, as well as providing a reasoning. And the answer at the end of the day is going to uh, give us uh, 68 in total, where four of the legs are from cows and 26 are from chicken. And after doing all these tests, I can see that this model is absolutely amazing. I'll leave all the links as to what I used in today's video in the description below. This is definitely a quite reputable model 
that you can access today and utilize it for various use cases. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you take a look at Quen2. Make sure you follow me on the Patreon page so that you can access subscriptions that we'll be launching today on our Discord. Make sure you take a look at our Twitter page. This is a great way for you to access subscriptions completely for free. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.